Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is going to be a video about how to win every, um, I would say gunfight, but just every fight because it's melee weapon, you know, but, um, so I kind of just want to get straight into this video. So, um, if you take everything that I said from my optimal gameplay, my weapons guide and pretty much everything that I, you know, I've said before, then you'll realize, um, pretty much what this video is exactly going to be like. Um, but I just, I'm kind of piecing it all together and, uh, really trying to optimize as much as possible this fighting style that I'm talking about. Okay. So basically the way that it's going to go about is I'm going to go ahead and sit here and let this bot attack me. So the best way to get out of blue focus or light attacks is to simply iframe it like that, right? Or to just simply blue focus through it yourself, right? So those are the two best ways. And since we know that those are the two best ways, or go focus, by the way, um, since we know that those are the two best ways, before we go into all of that, we first need to understand uh, a core mechanic in this game that really needs to be set in order for you to optimize this. So if you hold dodge, you're actually, you'll do a quick iframe and then you'll sprint, right? But if you tap dodge in a direction, you get this juicy iframe, right? And that's this one right here. That's, that's a lengthier iframe. So that gives you a lengthier iframe if you tap it, but if you hold it, it's like sprinting pretty much, okay? So if you tap it, you'll do a true iframe, like a really long one. And this one will just give you like a little sprinting animation, but you do get some iframe from it. So just keep that in mind that Whenever you want to iframe, you tap it in that direction. You don't hold it. If you hold it, your iframe isn't going to be as true as the animation that you're thinking that it is. So if you ever felt like you were dodging something and you still got hit by it, it's probably because you did the, the sprint uh, by holding it and you just got a little dash really. But if you tap it in that direction, that's how you actually... Um, get the iframe that you're looking for okay so with that being said why is that important the reason that's important because if you sprint you can attack immediately right after because if you hold it then you're you're literally just pressing the sprint button okay and that allows for you to do stuff like this right which is the stun lock uh right so that's the stun lock and that's why the sprint button works. That's if you hold down shift, okay? But if you're trying to get an iframe, notice how you can't animation cancel it as fast. Watch, if you tap it, see what I'm saying? It's not as fast. So this is your iframe. So whenever you do an iframe dodge, what happens is you're actually completely giving up all of your, like, your, your stuff like this. So like, if you wanted to, like, do something like that, Right, like the sprint, uh, the sprint crouch uh, juggle. That's what that is, right? So if you wanted to do all of that, because remember, the moment you press this, you immediately sprinting, right? So because you're immediately sprinting, you can immediately counter. So let's say you hit somebody and you do the sprint. That means you can hit and immediately counter like that, right? By doing the sprint button. But if you try to do the exact same thing with the dodge, see how much slower that is. See what I'm saying? So you have to wait till the thing plays out then you get to do it so with that being said is just keep that in mind that these two have completely different properties because if you hold it you're sprinting that's the button to sprint but if you tap it that's your iframe dodge that's how you get out of many many animations in the game if you try to now it is possible i'll show you what i'm talking about so it is possible you still have some sort of iframe right I'm going to wait for him to do an attack that. See, it is possible. So, you just you don't really want to do it if you don't know, like, if he's going to charge or whatever. Just keep that in mind that it can still dodge a lot of attacks in this game. Just not every attack. Uh, it, and it depends on their charge level. And if they're going to charge it, then you're probably going to get screwed for going for the dodge one. So, that's the first thing that needs to be said is that... These two dodges have completely different uh, mechanics, and you need to be able to separate the two 
and be able to know which one you should be using for which situation. For example, if you're trying to counter or something like that or attack, then you want to do the sprint version because you can sprint immediately into a counter. You can sprint immediately into an attack. You can sprint immediately into a focus attack. But if you did the dodge, it takes a lot longer, which is your iframe dodge by tapping it. So with that being said, let's move on to um, how to win every gunfight. So going back to what I said at the beginning, which is if you want to be able to always have advantage, you always want to be iframing, right, or dodging out of their attack and then blue focus because blue focus allows for you to clash with other blue focuses or it allows for you to um to be able to tank light attacks pretty much okay so with that being said or go focus but we'll go over go focus later with that being said um the most optimal way to play this game the best way to play this game is to simply always react to your opponent and always be sitting in blue focus or being ready to dodge out of any animation possible okay so let me just let me just kind of show you this so you can see what I'm talking about so let's say this guy you're you just walked up to some random person and you don't know how they play but you want to be able to beat it what you what you should do is this right here you should hold it and if they like throw a light after even after you let's say you tank the light right while you're charging it let's say you tank the light but then they're charging their blue focus well if you react that you can dodge out of the way and then get up out of there like that whenever you're doing this there's actually nothing that they can do in this game that can stop you whenever you're you're in blue focus the moment you're in blue focus and you're just spamming this the reason why this is so hard to beat and it works best on, um, well, it works with all weapons, but it works best with longsword because it takes a while for it to charge. Like you can sit in that for a pretty long time, right? So the reason why it's so good with that, same thing with this one. It works the best with longsword and spear because you can bait people while you're doing it. And the whole time you're practicing iframes, right? Like so. And you literally can't be knocked out of it. Unless they hit you with a go focus attack or they catch you like while you're uh, still doing it and you're not ready to dodge if they actually go for their focus attack. So that's literally the only way to counter this method. Other than that, if you have the better reaction time, if you are not being completely aggressive, this game completely favors the uh, person who is playing like a counter attack or defensive character. Because if you do this... Notice how you get that animation there. That's an iframe, right? So because of that, that literally makes you in a state where you can really not be knocked out of your own attack. And whenever you see that your opponent is now out of position or he's in an animation where he can't get out of, then you simply, let's say you did it, oh, and then you go in for your guaranteed attacks, right? Or you could do something like, like something like that. Or you can just go immediately into your juggle. Right? Because remember, the moment that you hit the button, you're now in what we call a sprint mode. If you do the sprint version, and you can simply do it like this. Right? Or you can do that, and then do something like that where you catch him with that. So you can literally do it, and cancel it with that, and then sprint. Right? Like that. So... Behold, this is I the most optimal way to it. play this game in order to win every gunfight what you want to do and this works with all of the weapons really I'll, I'll showcase a few more just to show you what I'm talking about but it works best with the long uh, the long sword and the sphere because they take the longest to get into go I mean blue charge um, this one's kind of uh, whenever you do it right there it's kind of quick but this one notice how that's a lot quicker than this one so you always want to um i mean katana is still good because of the stun lock but it whenever you do it you, you don't really move anywhere like you have no control you're going to dodge at the person unless you're using melee aim assist off so this doesn't work great with the katana but you can still do the same principle of like just baiting this and charging this up and all of that until you let it actually let it go now, the good thing about the katana is that it goes into blue focus the fastest. So, if you want to use this with the katana, then, like, 
you can literally just charge it and bam that's how quick you can get it all now with this one this one is a little bit of like a different one because every time you hit you have access to like double gold right there all right so dagger is still so good because you actually get gold focus now that's why a lot of people who are abusing this method hate the dagger because this gold focus here and get out of pretty much everything and immediately it goes into uh, another focus attack which means you can charge it up if you want and, and like play this game here which means that the dagger is still super oppressive so dagger still great um so yeah let's show the great sword now um so with the great sword it's kind of a little bit of the same thing it's just it's not like that great it takes the longest to charge so it's good in that sense but if you want it to um actually like use this weapon you're gonna have to have really good reaction time because it takes so long to go into go focus i mean uh blue focus that if they actually let their blue focus go you have to actually give up your uh your offense to like perfectly iframe it and then come in with something like that all right so this one will take a lot more skill to use because it takes a while to charge it so and you could do it like that if you want so it's not too bad but just keep in mind that this one is going to take a lot more skill because the animations are a little bit more telegraphed. So, um, and also, uh, for some reason, this first attack whiffs a lot. A lot, a lot. So just be prepared for that. So yeah, it works with every weapon in the game, so you don't have to worry about one weapon being worse than the other. But the weapons that it works the best with would 100% be, um, longsword and spear. Uh... Now, dagger, it works with also. Dagger is still super oppressive. But as far as, like, the control that you're going to get from it, like, right? Like, you can't beat the control of the long sword. And then the spirit kind of has that same sort of animation, right? And then this one, it's just, like, super baity. You can control it. Like, once they hear that second one, they're scared out of their butt. So the spear is really the best one because you can bait a lot with it. So I would just recommend using the weapons uh, above, you know. But, um, so now since that is being said, let's talk about how to uh, literally use this to win every gunfight. So I'll just go ahead and now use the, uh, the spear for this one. So if you're always in this animation dodging out, and remember, this is iframes. The moment that you dodge, you can iframe it. So let's say they think you're going to go for it. You can literally do this and watch them and then hit them if they try to dodge out of it or they try to counter. And remember, the, if they even if they went for an attack in between it, you can iframe the attack and then punish, right? So you can like like that, right? Now, if you if you iframe and then you stop and then you go for your light, that's actually slower than iframing and then keeping your light going. So you iframe, hold the dodge, like it's a dodge attack. So you do this, and then again, go for your pressure like that. So you always want to make sure that you're uh, optimizing your speeds, and you're never just throwing anything out. Uh, so like if you do this, just go into your, like your fastest attack if you're like going to bait it. Now, the beautiful thing about this is, if you don't know what they're going to do, then what you can do is you can hold it, dodge, hold it again, and then do this. Because that's your first light attack, by the way. And you can go focus that as much as you want. I mean, blue focus that. So if you don't know what they're going to do, but you want to be safe, right? You can literally just do that in their face and just charge this iframe. Maybe let it go. And just keep doing that, right? And this is safe. It's, it's not as fast as this right it's not as fast as that but you are safer if they do something that you like aren't ready for so just keep that in mind and you can do it backwards right to get out of their way if you want so you can like go backwards like this and you can like you don't even have to let it go and you could just do like that as much as you want right so just keep that in mind and 
only reason why I'm saying to do dodge always is because of the iframe. Now, again, remember how I said they have different properties? So what you can do is, let's say you're going up against the great sword, right? And you have no idea if he's going to double charge or simple charge. See what I'm saying? You can get up out of there. And if you react to your opponent, there's actually no way for you to, like, be beaten at all if you know what you're doing. Right? This one got a dog. And anytime you get your lights, see what I'm saying? Like, if you just dodge out of that, you're good. Now, if you do a dodge, notice how you still get that uh, second frame of a uh, of dodge right there which means even if you dodge like like an actual iframe dodge not the sprint dodge if you iframe dodge you can iframe dodge again right now the fastest way to do this is to dodge in one direction and then change your direction again and you can iframe double iframe dodge like that and it only costs about a little bit now if you do it too quick you'll get that animation there so if you go in one direction and then you go in another direction and you just gotta tap it, right? That's that's literally how you do it. You go in one direction, you tap it, you go in another direction and you tap it. So that's how you like maximize literally if you do this you can't get hit, right? And it all depends on how much uh stamina that you have, right? So um now if you do this into a sprint one, you'll do that animation. So that's what I mean when I say you have to make sure you're maximizing like and you know the difference between the two. Because if you do that into a sprint this is considered like if you do a dodge you're now considered to be uh not running right so if you just do a dodge you're not running at that point you're just sprinting i mean you're, you're not you're not you're not sprinting you're just jogging pretty much right now if you sprint notice how you're moving and why is my screen shaking like that it's weird but um just keep that in mind that if you do that that's what happens so if you want to make sure that you get two iframe dodges, you have to go in one direction and then go in another direction and tap it in both directions. If you tap once and then you hold, you'll get that animation there. And that second animation where you do a roll, you still have iframes, but it's not going to be lengthy iframes, you know, where you can really get out of certain, certain things. So no matter what the opponent does, you have an answer for it by just iframing the whole time, you know. Now, these bots are extremely stupid. I don't know what they did in the previous patch, but whatever they did, it completely... I mean, these bots are dumb as bricks. Like, it's, it's actually ridiculous. So, and just wait, and you you can react to whatever he does. See, and like, if, if you were ever charging, and you see they went with some lights... So let me, let me talk a little bit about um, like openings in order to know when you should like stop just baiting and when you should actually let your stuff go. So if you see them throw a light, right, that means that it's now your turn because the whole time you're doing this, you're probably going to be taking some hits, right, or dodging some stuff. Well, even if you dodge a hit, let's say he threw a light, a vertical light. And you were charging and you dodged it. And let's say you went with this right after that. Well, you can actually get beat because if you throw this light, well, if you charge up a focus attack after he threw his vertical attack, you're going to get clipped now unless you perfectly iframe. Because if you try to sprint dodge out of it like this, you're going to get hit. So you have to iframe that. But the problem with that is if they actually go for one light and to another light, you'll actually get clipped still. So if you if you like if you're charging this and then you you dodge right and you don't charge it again you're putting yourself in a bad advantage if anything do this you you hit them and then you, you like slightly charge it into a light again so that way you can tank any sort of next move that he has but the problem with this is if you do this and they actually did charge a focus it's like you have to be ready to let that go or to iframe right because if you let this go, you now have a light property. So if they actually like double charge their focus attack, well, you're screwed because that's going to clip you. So um, that's why I say it's always best to just charge these and bait these out until you know for a fact that you have your opening. And then once you know you have your opening, then you attack. So your openings are 
if they themselves dodged like this with an iframe, if they dodge and they don't like immediately go into a focus, right? If you can catch him uh, doing a dodge, you can tech chase immediately with something like that or a sprint, um, something like this, right? So always, 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 like if they do an iframe dodge, not a sprint dodge, because from a sprint dodge, you can immediately do this. From a sprint dodge, you can immediately go into your charge focus. From a sprint dodge, you can immediately go into a light attack. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you, you really don't want to... If, if you see them do a sprint animation, you don't want to tech chase after that. You just want to keep playing it a little safe. But if you see them do an iframe, right, then you have an opportunity because their animations are a little bit slower after an iframe dodge. Now, they can still do something like that, but it's not like it's not going to be as effective. So with that being said, let's, um, let's talk about... Uh, the last opening which is the one that i mentioned before which is if they let a um a light attack go whether it's like this or if it's just from neutral and you're in this you actually are guaranteed the next hit all right now it requires very specific timing though it's not guaranteed if you wait too long or if you don't immediately it's kind of like a prediction tool like you think they're gonna go for it or you think they're about to throw the lights and once you see it and you wait to say, I mean, you have to be milliseconds quick with this, like 400 milliseconds type timing. And you have to be able to like react to them and, oh, they let it go and then go into your punish from there. Okay. So that's, that's how you have to play this game. Um, but if you wait too long, then they can actually dodge out of this. If you wait too long, they can dodge out of that. Now they have to iframe it, right? Uh, they can actually uh, like sprint frame it too because remember you still have the iframes and immediately sprint frame into this or they can sprint frame into that and then clip you. So you have to be, it's just a game of like, of chase, like cat and mouse of who can bait the other into doing a really lengthy animation where they're left open. Now there's counterplay to it however you want to see it, but that's the most optimal way to play this game, which is to I frame anything that's not guaranteed and to uh, blue focus through every single thing that they throw. And if they throw a blue focus, then you just I frame it and then you go into your own attack. And after you do this, if they try to I frame or blue focus charge right after that, then you just you do that or you backdash. Right? And whenever you're charging, in order to get the backdash animation, which gets you out of pretty much any animations, or you can do WSD like this. Um, I do if A and S and you tap it, that's the best one because it gets you back and also out of their range. So if you charge and you hit this and you tap it, you can get something like that. And that's really, really good because you're pretty much going to like negate pretty much every attack in the game. And you can immediately charge right after that and go into stuff like that. So always... Um, if they're not like running away, always do it in like a in a direction like that, so you can get something like that. Right now, that was the sprint version, so you can do it faster. But if you really like don't know their timing, then you can charge it and then tap in that direction, and then you can get really really out of the way like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, remember, if you do this, they can like tech chase you a little bit easier. But if you do the iframe, you get further away from them, so you can just one and really get up out of there if you don't know what they're going to do and you're invincible or you're eye framing at that point so it doesn't matter so uh my next video i'll give you like some actual uh footage of stuff like this it's just more of just like to talk it out so you can kind of understand it but uh my next video i will show you guys exactly uh all of these things in action so that way you can use it and abuse it and see real life application to it so that's everything for this video thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy and abuse it